Alright folks, welcome back once again to Let's Play Dynasty Warrior 7, The Shoe World Order. I'm the Serious JG. I am Bobo the Vulture. As of now, um, Bobo's actually seen the Christmas preview video that's been on my channel for a month. So we recorded the first few videos. I don't think you understood just truly how epic it was when those guys all joined hands and went, oh, whoa! Well, like tears that had been sprayed oh, no, on their face. I'm crying right now. I am too, me too. One single stream coming from each eye. Yeah, it's like a very, very like thin anime river exactly. of, uh, yeah. of tears. Yeah, but it's. I'm, I was thinking about it, um, and it's sad that I didn't actually show Bobo that video um, earlier because we're actually going to have less and less of the Sworn Brothers. <laughs> because like the early missions are all like, it's like Sworn Brothers or Goku. I mean, it's. Well, I mean, yeah, we were hooked on the brothers, and now we're slowly <laughs> weaning ourselves. Now, out. now it's like okay, we were playing as the Sworn Brothers, and it was pretty cool. Now we can also play as Toad and Princess Toad's duel. So I kind of like the handling of Toad, actually. Um, I know a lot of people say I'd rather, I'd rather handle use... Princess Toad's duel. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people really say you should use like Bowser for the uh, top speed, but well, yeah. Anyways, was, was but it uh, it's 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 we're, the stage this, this, is set uh, for the Battle of Cherby. Yeah, this this game doesn't have a lot of uh, vehicle driving. However, occasionally you do get to get behind the wheel of a siege weapon, and sadly, I do not think I shouldn't give this away. People can have their hopes, but I'm pretty sure that. There will be no point during the shoe story mode where you have to pilot a wood ox <laughs> to hop behind the wheel of a wood ox and then navigate through the, the tunnels and try to, you know, fire a photon torpedo into the thermal exhaust port of, um, you know, South well, you know, ship. I'm up to play this next mission, but now I don't know if I can even be asked to. No, I mean, oh, yeah, I know. Uh, you, you get the chance to play as, like, Ponytail Jiayun. Jiayun. I've not been Jiayun yet. This will be exciting. I can resume from where we last saved. So this is, okay, so coming up, sorry, it's the Battle of Chirpy. It's the most important battle of three kingdoms, period. Yes. It's the battle Battle where Guan Yu killed Cao Cao. So That's let's um, continue what I've along. Been told. <laughs> yes, let's continue along. We'll see if this game is as accurate as uh, the novel is. <laughs> Due to the fierce display of might shown by Zhao Yun and Zhang Fei, Liu Bei was able to safely escape to Jiangsha. Having Due to the fearless Bei, babysitting. Cao Cao confidently turned his army towards <laughs> Zhang, Zhang Fei did kill a lot of people. He did, but I mean... Zhuge Liang went and proposed... Zhuge Liang. To Sun Chuan. Hey, Chuan. He went, hey, Chuan. For Sun Chuan, there was little merit in joining... <laughs> Liu Bei's like, hey, I just thought I heard an interesting voice. <laughs> but Liu Bei was the only one in the land willing to oppose the might of Cao Cao. Hey, folks, I'm the only one in the land willing to oppose the might of Cao Cao. Uncertain How you doing? To proceed, Sun Chuan was approached by Zhuge Liang. He explained <laughs> that Liu Bei would continue fighting... Even if Sun Chuan were to surrender. Thus, Liu Bei married Shang Zhang, and Zhu Ge Liang married Sun Chuan. He had made his dream come true. <laughs> He'll he never give up. The cost. Those words pierced the heroic Sun Chuan's heart. And he could have taken And he and his heart grew three sizes he that day. His heart was divided into three. Oh, yep. See, he's been hit by the uh, headache pain. By the well, no, Liu by Bei the blue laser the opposing, Cao Cao resistance. Yeah, the opposing Cao Cao right. Joint attack with Sun Chuan. I never realized when I played with Gradius with back in the day. That's what I was doing. Like all the gonna, enemies I was making them oppose Cao Cao. I'm going to join a joint attack with another famous Chinese person, uh, Tommy Chong. I swear, he's just going to grab his ponytail there and just... As the two armies prepared to engage in heated battle, neither side could know. That Guan Yu would kill Cao Cao later that day. victory lay in the palm of the sleeping dragon's hand. I've drawn a map of victory on my hand. I know this area like the back of my hand. The key to victory is in my hand. There's the house, there's the driveway, there's the pool. <laughs> I should be killing someone right now. Depends upon the direction of the wind. Don't need weatherman no which with wind blows. Unobstructed. You yeah. don't need a strategist to well, The yeah, answer, my Sounds friend, not just blow it out your ass. This time, huh? And our brother, he wants us to tackle that lot head on. Guangzhou! You're not scared, my lord. I'm excited, boy. I'm looking forward to a decent fight. I'm looking forward to some posing and dancing. Should be careful if your priest ever says I'm excited, boy. Yes. Usually it's the Bay who does the, the pose dancing when the uh, Three Brothers music video, but... Yeah. Yeah, don't mind me, boys. 
I just like watching you guys excited. Yeah, it's true. I didn't like that. Well, I mean, his hands are together. Yes. Unless you screw up, Zhang Fei. Oh, it's an adorable chibi altar. Chibi, 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 chibi. Why does the fire attack have to wait for the wind? Chibi. If we start the fire now, it will simply turn back upon us. Fire is fixed. Darn boy. treacherous fire! <laughs> I don't believe all this prayer nonsense is going to change the winds. Are you sure we can trust you know Fei, what? what's wrong with you? How can you possibly doubt? <laughs> Thank you, Jane. <laughs> How could you possibly doubt that waving a feather fan around and going woo is going to change the weather? Now I actually do want to see a video sequence of here in which you gave the going woo. <laughs> Mystical power of the Han. Curse of the Han, motherfuckers. I don't believe all this prayer nonsense is going to change the wind. I'm with you. God damn it. Right, so yeah, Zhang Fei, uh, Sunday morning, he prays at the church of the couch. <laughs> Praise the porcelain altar. What's with all the secrecy? I don't like that Juga Leon. I heard that. Uh, I was about to say he's a. Uh... What's with all the secrecy? I don't like that. Juga I don't like Leon. making a secret of the fact that I hate Juga Leon. <laughs> well, you know, I suppose. If you're going to be a fake, why not be more obvious? My lord, it's me. You probably don't remember me, I guess. I absolutely don't, and. Zhuge Liang's master strategy involves putting this guy in your army and making him annoy you. <laughs> I've been with Lord Liu Bei since the Yellow Turbans, but I've never been so scared. Wow, more of this theme music must be playing. <laughs> Sorry, it's, uh, I have it's for Bobo. Children, you know. I can't afford to die. Wait, you got children now? He, he could afford to die. We haven't been, and you know, we haven't been informed of that in a like, ooh, 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 Mr. Liu Bei, remember me? Huh, huh, I got kids. Uh, yeah. But I so. suppose I must have faith and fight. Faith, oh, faith, faith, faith. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but um. But I suppose I must have faith. By the way, screw you for not rescuing my baby in true. Um, well, whatever that last one was called. I forget. Hey, didn't you not talk to that guy? Did you? Or did you? I thought I did talk to this guy. He didn't trust you, Gay Leon. Is he that same guy? Okay, I'm, so I'm sorry, you're right. I'm sorry. How are you, How are you doing? How are you guys doing? Lord Liu Qi was sent away by his father, and has taken refuge with our lord. Our sweet lord. He is a wise and courteous man. Oh, that's good. Lord Liu Qi was sent away by his father, and has taken refuge with our lord. Yeah, Liu Qi is, is actually the man. the brother of Liu Kong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's oh. um, he's the virtuous brother who goes. He's like he's he's less of a puss. I mean, he he's does. The one who goes. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah. He goes. Uh, he he does die of. I don't know. It's 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 one of those things where you read the book and it's obvious that they want Liu Bei to be the good guy, but you do have to wonder. He dies and Liu Bei suddenly inherits. It's like, if this was an hour-long murder mystery on TNT, Liu Bei would totally be exposed as this killer. Well, you have to change your voice. Lord Zhang Fei doesn't take out his anger on me. You have to change your voice so you don't sound as much like that guy really annoys Zhang Fei and everyone else. Lord Zhang Fei used to sell meat and wine. Before it's time. I bet he drank more than he sold, huh? <laughs> I wonder what made him decide to become a warrior. I wonder what I mean, made he's he... the ultimate warrior. I think he was visited by the spirit of his father, who was basically exactly like him except older, and uh, that caused uh, Zhang Fei to go, FATHER! Yes. I'm sorry, I'm flashing back to the Warrior comic. What do you mean you guys haven't read the original Warrior comic? I'm sneaking up behind you, Zhuge Liang. That's where the best surprises always come from. the stage for the three kingdoms to be formed. However, Cao Cao will not make it easy for us. He looks gassy. I'm going to have to go a lot to pull They this must off. really want him to have this badass pose because everybody else will turn to face Zhuge Liang. No. Zhuge Liang's I'm way too he's... fucking cool to turn around. Yeah. Uh oh. Lord Strategist? Never mind. Oh, oh, hey. It's nothing. I just now caught. We'll begin the prayer ceremony. The wind will blow from the southeast. Just as I have predicted. I heard Bobo making fun of how I didn't turn around, and so I decided to show him up. He planned it all. He knew what you were going to say. Now I will... 
Blitzball Blitz victory. victory. <laughs> yes. And now I know that forward is the only way my heart can go. I'm sorry, my lord. You can't go any further. I'm yep. sorry, I can't go I'm any so further today. You're gonna have to switch characters. <laughs> oh, he can't. Okay, you are eventually stopped. It's like, oh, really? <laughs> like, is that what you think? <laughs> Take that, guard. Uh, okay, Hello, so. guard. It's me, Margaret. Making winds blow. It sounds like the black arts to me. But we're whoa, Chinese. Whoa, 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 whoa! Starring Wild Man Steve. Making winds blow. Black arts. Winds. That's such. Hey there, Liu Qi. Are you ready to? Well, actually, I should probably check this character, huh? I got all the. Well, I gave him the the Xing Tsai weapons. You may or may not want that. Though it's going to unlock environmental invulnerability if you stick with it. But you'd have to actually use it. You couldn't just. Uh... Yes. I always found claws were pretty good. I don't I like using use claws, claws with characters who can use other weapons. If only claws are. It seems like there's a claw. I mean, you can use whatever you want. I'm just saying that claws um, are like there's a couple of like some of the the less buff warrior dude types still have three stars with claws, so it becomes a really good weapon for them. But a guy like Zhao Yun is going to be able to use weapons that you know if you're playing later on as like a strategist, they're not going to be able to use uh, like the heavy spears use and the stuff. Swords. Yeah, I think that might be another. It's it's similar. That's another one where like. A lot of different guys can use it. I mean, Zhao Yun's going to have a lot of things. He has three stars and. Well, he has throwing knives. And there will be. She, she won't come up with uh, much, but the, you know, token chick of the Jin Muso mode uses throwing stars or throwing knives. I think. Sword is. That's sword? that's the totally generic one. Everyone, I believe, has three stars with that. Yeah, I mean, go ahead and use whatever you want, but. Uh, has the flute ability. Spinner. Foil. I am Iron Fan. The smasher. Right. Yeah, you can use that if you want to. I I also prefer the we the big heavy weapons like twin claws and st or twin rods and stuff because if you have three stars in it, that's when you have like these hurricane vortex of power that appear around you as you attack with them. They're pretty cool. All right, I'm sold. Um, hurricane vortex of power is it pretty. Is uh, super, and it's already got all the yeah. appropriate seals, officer info. But you're probably gonna want this. I mean, his he, he is awesome. With the He's all leveled up. Move list. He needs to do X X Y Y. Okay. He I needs now know to do X X Y Y. He needs it, Ajax. All right. Uh, I guess I'm ready to go. Lord Zhao Yun, how goes Lord Juga Liang's preparations? Uh, he assures me that we will win at Blitzball. He has just begun the prayer ceremony. It's all up to him now. Lord Zhao Yun. I just tripped. <laughs> I come with orders from Lord Zhuge Liang. He wishes us to quietly begin the march. Quiet. Tell Zhuge Liang I'm right here. <laughs> Why did he send a messenger? Psst. He didn't want to have to yell. We are to work our way around at Cao Cao's escape room, and he wants us to strike before Sun Quan's army can. I understand. I will leave Lord Zhang Fei in charge of guarding the prayer ceremony. You don't leave me in charge of nothing. I left myself in charge. <laughs> Asshole. Lord Liu Qi, will you please lend me your strength? Ch -ch -ch Cheeseburgers. Uh, of course, Lord Zhao Yun. Cheeseburgers. You have my gratitude. Now we must hurry. Hey, he's uh, quoting Master uh, Han from End uh, of the Dragon. Liu you have a gratitude. Han's fun. How can he possibly overcome these numbers? And just what is this plan of his anyway? I'm convinced he's an idiot. Oh. Yeah, Chirpy is always a weird battle in this game. Yeah, it's easy to get lost. Well, yeah, actually. Uh, oh, this is one where you spend a bunch of your time just kind of hanging around on a boat shooting these guns anyway. So, um, I'm actually having a hard time seeing the. Uh, uh, you need me to kill another light. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. Uh. Okay, well, we're gonna play this game in the dark. <laughs> I'm on the attack Nine. ship. The attack ship has set sail. Egress, huh? Shut up, Liu Qi. Cheat. Because if you do, everyone's gonna assume that, uh. Liu Bei did it, essentially. 
Now here's the real reason Cao Cao lost the Chirby. He sent army ships to attack instead of navy ships. Oh shit, you just shot me in the face! Gonna get wild. Well, maybe not. By the way, we only have about four bolts left. <laughs> yeah. The enemy ships are aflame. The fire attack has worked. Yeah, the is. battle of Chirby is won, and you had nothing to do with it. So, for this, you don't really have to do that much in this the until you... The so in which, theoretically, you would have the most ah. important role... What do you mean? Oh, and just well, where do you think you're going? Sherby was basically a battle between Wei and Wu. It's always bullshit that Shu has anything to do with it. <laughs> Show you has machine gunned a bunch of guys to death. You can... Go over there and grab those if you want, I think, yeah. Yeah, I was trying to. Alright, now I get back aboard. Ooh, time. <laughs> That's what you get for turning away. You're the U-Base men. How did you get in here? Oh, I'm dead now! <laughs> You're not gonna be able to shoot yeah. him. Oh, they did. They did. <laughs> no, they, they they were dead already. They're already dead. All right, more ballista ing. Here I am, everyone. Zhu Huang has arrived. Zhu Huang's gonna take over this gun. I think you're gonna have to fight him uh, the old-fashioned way. I'm gonna own your ass. You were trying to knock him into the water, aren't you? <laughs> Luckily for you, in that case, you can't be knocked into the water at this point. Oh, shut up, you cheat. Witness the pinnacle of true might, and then laugh it off. Quick, shoot your own mast. <laughs> You're shooting your own man. No forgiveness, stab. I could do this for a while. And, uh, this is um. This is another. My KO count. What KO count? This is another really realistic part of the game, the uh, machine gun, uh, current <laughs> oh, yeah. of machine guns that the ancient Chinese had. I mean, if there's one thing I think of uh, when I think about, like, you know, ancient China, I think of, like, what a great rail shooter that would make. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to get off the boat now. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. That a rail gun is a standard, oper uh, standard weapon on Metal Gear Rex. Metal Gear Rex was, of course, made to fight Metal Gear Ray and Metal Gear Shepard. <laughs> That uh, looks like you can go up there. Okay, it's a bunch of barely alive way guys. Not anymore. I've healed them. <laughs> That's right. Let's get in here. Let's take the highway. Hey, Ricardo! My lord's long gone! <laughs> For me getting murdered. He just said everyone make sure to make all the necessary preparations while you were killing him. Make me if you dare. 
Do you cheat? Would you just back off? This is not about you. Yep, he went for his. Uh... Luckily, he didn't go for his throw, though, so there, but. Obstacle in the path of justice has fallen before me. Yeah, where does power up go? That should have pushed you around. Time. My lord was already on board his Ferrari, <laughs> screaming away. <laughs> That's gotta be the a first good emperor deal. of Wei and Tao Tao's second son. He's the kind of pussy bitch who has to use twin swords or claws. I mean, <laughs> so, that, but that he was who I was thinking of, and I was like, there's certain like you know kind of. They're really a big deal in the Dynasty Warriors games, but they weren't actually super warriors, so they end up having to fight with, like, Rapier and stuff. But they weren't stuff. actually super warriors. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, you weren't going to oh, see Cao oh, Pi oh, and Guan Yu oh, going at it, and uh, yes. Guan Yu, like, you know, having a hard time defeating Cao Pi. Believe... Uh, wasn't that one of your big uh, uh, points, bones of contention with the introduction to Dynasty Warriors 5... Uh, Extreme Legends, uh, that it ended with a, like, battle between Xiao Yun and Cao Pi or something that was, like that. That was regular Dynasty that was regular Warriors. It, Extreme Legends featured, uh... That was the one which featured a glowing ball of, uh... Gan Ning and Ling Tong flying yes. off into space. <laughs> okay. Forgive me, Lord Jugen Leon. Forgive oh, me, oh, no. Give me the order to pursue after him. Uh, no way. Indeed. Godspeed, Xiao Yun. Guan Godspeed. Or whatever, whatever it is we worship, um, nature speed or ancestor speed. These, go get him. I would like for you to accompany him. Our victory is not complete until Cao Cao is eliminated. Ah, oh, this is gonna be my big chance. Ah, here it comes, folks. Lord Zhuge Liang, I dot dot dot. Ask that you do it for the sake of our lord. Now, in the novel, Guan Yu. Seen here. Seen here. <laughs> yes. Guan Yu. Um, Jan, like, Guan Yu is like, Send me. I'm going to go kill Cao Cao. It'll be awesome. And Juge uh, Liang is like, You know, no, I don't think you're really the guy. <laughs> and Guan Yu is like, No, I'm going to do it. And Liu Bei is like, What's the problem? And Juge Liang is like, Yeah, he's going to, like, he's going to, like, you know, get all weird because he used to work for Cao Cao. And Guan Yu was like, I pledge that if I don't kill Cao Cao, my life is forfeit. And Zhuge Long's like, okay, sign this piece of paper. And he actually does, and then he goes out, he lets Cao Cao go. I mean, he kills Cao Cao, right. and everything goes exactly how it's supposed to go. I have failed in my task. I suck. There is no excuse. We failed to protect the base. <laughs> Booyah, booyah, he's such... Didn't he just order you to go get Cao Cao? What are you waiting I for? That you do it for the sake of our lord. Do it, Rockapella. <laughs> Where in the world is Cao Cao and his Ferrari Destroyer? Your son is a fine warrior, my lord. He takes after you. Uh, which one? Yeah. And what of your second son? Is he still too young to fight? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make something of it? <laughs> what are you too young to fight, little baby? Huh? <laughs> are you are you like calling out the God of War? What's going on here? <laughs> Your son is a. Your son is a. Your mom is so. F oh wait, no. Um, Meanwhile, they're up. They're over there, like making fun of you. Like something to you see their fan. private. I'm looking at I your private. I believe we actually beat them. Off. Sorry. Sorry. I. I can't believe. We Lord Zhang Fei has gone on ahead. We must pick up the pace if we are to catch up in time. By the way, is his oh. daughter too young to fight? Oh, I see. Picking up the pace? Yeah, let me get right on that. <laughs> now I'm just waiting for that one uh, private who keeps popping up to tell me what to do. That's the only thing that could make me even more motivated. Of gratitude to South Sao, my lord. But please, show him no mercy. Nameless lieutenant, I will bear your words on my heart. I will engrave I your words you on my heart. Lord Juga Liang is so calm. It seems like he expected to win all along. It's almost like he has confidence. Lord Juga it's almost like that whole wind plan thing. He actually wasn't just pulling her chance. Go with Ma Liang the other day, my lord. Did you win? <laughs> I saw you play. So is is Go a big thing? I guess so. Is I... that like he's the god of Go as well? 
He's the go god. <laughs> He's a go go gadget god. Sure can run fast. That Chow Chow sure can run fast. You hear that, um, Tao Tao? That guy's calling you out. Uh oh. Yeah, I know. I know. You gotta talk to him, though. It's me, my lord. Uh. Me from the yellow turbans. Fuck you. Kill Come, you. my lord. <laughs> we must give chase. Together, we will claim victory, and I will regain the respect of my family. But you had the Come, respect of your family at some point. <laughs> I guess you got the respect of somebody at least. A merchant. I got here? the pity of somebody. Now that's and then nine easy. months later. A merchant here. What? Someone selling weapons? What? At a battle? No That's price. Hey, Guanping. Don't talk to Guanping yet. There's uh, some guys I don't think you talked to over there. Where? To the right. I think. What, these guys? Maybe you already did. And what these guys. Your seconds. Okay, they insulted never. my kids. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> now you must regain the uh, respect of your family. <laughs> yes. And you talk to the merchant. They were just like buttered him up special, so I'm. Welcome. So special dialogue, not so much. Tao couldn't have gotten very far. Father, let's hurry after him. You're gonna be able to run with that chubby you got there, son. He's thinking about Shing Tsao. All right, so. Thank you, one thing. <laughs> you teach me to play Go. No, I'm too busy playing it with Mod. Guan Yu is pretty much a freaking monster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, I guess anybody with three stars in that weapon will have the same basic moveset, but his, like... Yeah. Just for funsies. I mean, we're not in a hurry or anything. It's not like... It's like freaking monster of death is chasing us. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely not a monster of death. I'm going the right. Right no, I gotta go up. This route, up this route here. Yeah, this is one of the more confusing maps too. GTFO, like Jiayun. Super awesome rock music. What do you say, Jiayun? I said GTFO. Oh. It does have awesome music though. And you're just gonna ignore uh, yeah, vast I'm... armies of Tsao Tsao guys. That's no, that's Tsao smart. Kind of a weird muso. Kind of force pulled you or something. Dizzy. The demon dizzy. Out of my way. This is still on hard mode, isn't it? <laughs> well, you're playing as Guan Yu. That kind of makes yeah. it. That's kind of makes it easy mode. Damn. Somebody forgot to tell Zhang Liao that. <laughs> I hate to say this, but we're going to need reinforcements. Found Zhang Fei. I found Zhang Fei to be very nice. Well done, Father. I'll keep up with you. You'll see. Yeah, <laughs> sure. The <laughs> flames. <laughs> Yeah, it's what it's gonna take, and it's not actually gonna work. I just defeated that guy. I told you I'd keep up with you, Daddy. I'm gonna teach you to play go. Um, <laughs> so uh, making like a honking. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm presuming I can't run through the wall of flame. No, he can't run through the wall of flame. So uh, let's take the long way home. Soon, take the long. 
I really wanted to burst into song, and I couldn't remember any lyrics from that. Well, I'm glad. Don't, don't need you uh, busting oh. out the super tramp. Come on. Huh? All right, I'll just have to sing some Rush later. Young and I'm so young. <laughs> Get lost, punk ass. Damn. Well, I noticed I was getting low on health. Yeah. Figured I should uh, probably get rid of that guy. You inspire us all. That's how, no, to, to your left there was a uh, foods. Yeah, that's yeah now it's on your right. That's how it's done. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh, sweet. An Orin quote was all that was required for you to get your full health back. Man, you're a quarter of the way to having as many kills as Zhang Fei had in the last mission. Although you've killed like a lot of officers. I just love the mission where Zhang Fei gets to kill like everyone in the world. So screw you. Just strike the ground, and your vortexes of wind are always there, but then lightning occasionally hits. Found Kyo Kyo. I mean, Toto. I mean, Kyo Kyo. There we go. I'm afraid I can't let you through. You tried to bypass you how you want, just to your credit. Is there no way to avoid? Out of my way. Report. It seems that the enemy reinforcements have arrived. It's like, come on, Guan Ping. If you never played one of these games, you have to defeat Jiao Yuan, and the gate will open. No one's going to interfere with my brother's escape. You are indecisive. Why was Zhang Fei saying no one will interfere with our Lord's escape? Daddy! Because he too has taken over the world, he didn't say so. I think it's important that Guan Ping uh, develop a better relationship with his dad so that should his dad be executed by Zhou Yu in this particular move, so he'll be a little bit more concerned. Then he was in the RTK playthrough where I executed Guan Yu and he was like, eh, whatever. Ah, oh, it's like the rabbit and the hare. He's taking a little nap during his flight. Um, that's not really what I had in mind. I was more like just gonna kill you. <laughs> We've discovered Scientology. We discovered the Book of Mormon. Did you know, Guan Yu, that there's a yet another testament? But our horses can't, so don't give up yet. We are very close to victory. Hurry, defeat him! Hurry. Get on with it! Let's, Let's get, get on, on with it. it. Ah, zings. Now summon your horse. <laughs> it will climb the ladder and help you. It will. I will sneak up on a south south from the south. The best surprise is always sneak up from behind, father. That's what I told Jing Tsai, but... Wait, where am I? Oh, dang it. I need to go up this path. I need to approach from the west. Yeah, I really should have gotten my horse. It's not too late. 
Yeah, just, just attack your horse as soon as it appears. We cannot fall behind. Okay, yeah, now yeah. you gotta jump down anyway, so. And just broke your horse's legs. Nice job. You have no one to watch your back. So you are Not so much. I'll crush you like all of the others. Cao Hong said that, but it's funny because I believe we've beaten him up on like three missions now. <laughs> He's one of those four unfortunates. He's always right on the verge of being a yeah. playable character, but yeah, he tends to get it whooped up on a lot. At least he outlasted uh, Zhu Ling. <laughs> Brother, I show you how it's done. Let's see if you can get through my defenses. I'm not easy to get drunk and, and uh, e you know. You're never Dude, gonna convince me to sleep. I'm like totally again. surrounded. All right, so where do I need to go to save the day now? Um, you're pretty close. I think you just uh, go through that gate and then bear right. Yeah, sure enough. I bear right and I get into a cinematic. There you are. Stand your Found you. We didn't fight Jihad too, did we? Or did you? No. You have come for me, Guan Yu. Then I shall have to face you. Pretty awesome how you guys like line up and are facing each other and then suddenly you both start running around because you become playable again. Oh, there you go. Ice, ice magic That's ice magic death attack, man. <laughs> what are you, some kind of pussy? That is a pretty awesome piece, though. And a pretty awesome Muso triggering quote. But he's dead. And he's dead! We killed him! Good job, man. You battled fulfilled your fate. history. I'm glad I was able to almost surpass him. Yeah. Go. Oh. That's the game but I'm going to play right Kwan now. I think to play later. He didn't wait around for a speech. To Cao Cao's credit, he did not wait around to make a little speech here. He's just like, yeah. really? Bing! I had already taken that back. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> then he points to his head. Straight where he keeps all his speech. We never wanted to kill Cao Cao anyway. This whole thing was just a trick. To walk a path fraught with great danger. Stranger danger. And so what danger uh, could be stranger than Shuge Leon? So, <laughs> so it's cool I didn't kill Tetsu. It's good. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's no problem. Don't worry about it. I knew you couldn't do it. Bitch. What, are you too young to kill Tetsu? However, as Sao Tsao had managed to escape unharmed, Sun Quan was unable to take any decisive actions. These decisions, they're so difficult. I will aid. chip away at his strength. And work towards building their ideal as long as Cao Cao was alive, Sun Quan would slowly chip away at the table to help you until he could cut it in half. Into reality. With Cao Cao unable to strike, Zhuge Liang was something of a dream weaver. Quen, and built up his huh? military forces. He was a dream weaver. He, he was helping Liu Bei turn his dream into. Wang Zhang was helping to twist dreams. Wang sent to attack Changsha. Guan Yu found himself face to face. With a most powerful opponent. Stephen Colbert. Oh, that's a formidable. Oh, you're right. Uh oh, oh, oh. Dreams are gonna get twisted and changed, folks. No. Not looking forward to this. Nice plays you got there. But these dreams are gonna have to get twisted and changed in the next video. Oh, I see. Alright, so, um,. Yeah, uh, Cherby went pretty smoothly. Um...
you were not able to accomplish what Guan Yu did in the novel and killed Cao Cao at the end of Chir B. <sighs> Chir B being his first defeat. He was never defeated before Chir B, according to this one commentator. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Cheese me off. Okay, so, uh, yeah, but Chir B, done. Uh, and again, I hope you enjoyed the fight with Lu Bu. That's over. I hope mm. you enjoyed Chir B. That's over. Jin will not be fighting at Chir B, nor will they be using their time machine to go to defeat Lu Bu. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, gonna, this is it for those battles. Um, Man. I'm gonna miss old Chirby now. I know. I'll have to wait for DW8, where like Chirpy is fought using spaceships and lasers and stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to make it even more goofy and out of control than it is with like the machine, <laughs> the dragon shaped machine guns that we use. Yes. But uh, yeah, uh, so that's it. Uh, the three, the stage has been set for the three kingdoms, which means that uh, the rest of this Muso. Um, well, not probably the entire rest of it, but for uh, the next chunk of this Muso, we're gonna have to actually uh, establish. Shoe. We're going to have to become cobblers. We're going to have to build shoes. We're going to be shoemakers. Yeah, shoemakers. Shoemakers. I guess cobblers repair shoes. They don't build shoes. So remember that, folks. That's important. Anyway, this is the Mysterious JG. I am Boba the Vulture. Um, when we come back, Wong Chong is going to try to change our dreams. So uh, hold on to your dreams. See you guys next time. Bye now. <laughs>